Good day to everybody, DC here, uh, 18th of June, 19, and today I'm proud to present to you Autogen. Uh, Autogen is a development from uh, using um, magnets and a fluorescent tube in a steel uh, scaffold tube. So what we've got here today, if you can see this, we've got six coils wrapped around steel uh, scaffold tubes so it's one two three four five six and then we've got a center one a center scaffold tube with no uh, windings around it but with a fluorescent tube through through the uh, scaffold tube uh, the length is about a meter long and these coils are wound with uh, it's just lighting wire 1.5 copper uh, plastic coated wire and uh, we've got the fluorescent tube which is a four, four foot four foot fluorescent tube which is just sitting there at, um, poking out at the other end as I say so these um, scaffold tubes are about a meter long and um, what I've done is with the uh, coil windings have come through and I've joined joined them all together here and then this is connected to here which is the other end of the fluorescent tube. The idea that what I've noticed is when I fire 30,000 volts down the center tube here, we get a massive field that comes off it which radiates out. This field goes out for about one and a half meters. The fluorescent tube lights up to here, somewhere here without any connections on there but if you put a connection on there in any way the tube lights up so what i figured out is that the the energy is staying or being drawn to the scaff metal scaffold tubes leaving a negative return here now because of this negative return i'm able to measure here amps so although this is the this is the other end of the coil windings we're able to measure amps going out at this end and the amps are going back into the fluorescent tube and into the system and around the system so, um, I've also got uh, a meter here which measures to let's have a look yep to this earth here and the other side is connected to here. So at this point here, we're measuring voltage and we're me measuring amps. So that's, that's where we're at. And without further ado, I'll fire the system up and see how we're going on. We're on about 12.5 12 volts. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck. Again, it's showing DC, but also it can be AC. So again, I'm not certain of what what we're looking at here, AC or DC voltage. And, and there's a picture of the amps, up to one amp. So I reckon it's about three quarters of an amp going through this circuit now. So well, that's it folks, that's where we're at. It's exciting, it really is. So if I disconnect this earth return, obviously the, I won't get any amps uh, showing, but I'm gonna be very careful here because of the ampage going through. As you can see now, very, very little light and most of the energy is going back into the tubes, the scaffold tubes, the steel scaffold tubes. And when I connect, I'm going to have to be careful here, I don't want to electrocute myself. Oh, come on. I can't do it. I can't do it, folks. <laughs> it's, it is hot, that. And now, obviously, it's affected the, the draw. It's affected it here too. 
So, okay, folks, it's work in progress. Obviously, what I'm working to is to, is to power something from this ampage and this um, voltage, and that's the next step. So there we go. DC signing out.